Jackie Dean. So much, You're Mr. Welcome. Speaker, and I, Speaker, and I was so pleased uh, to hear that Anne Tolley's electorate of Gisborne is going to be um, gaining a two-laning of the Motu Bridge. I was really pleased to hear about that initiative announced last weekend at the National Party Conference, where our Prime Minister John Key recognises the importance of economic growth in the regions. And so I knew exactly how pleased. Honourable Anne Tolley was at the announcement of the Motu Bridge because three years ago I was in exactly the same situation when the Honourable Jerry Brownlee announced the funding for the Kurao Bridges project over the Waitaki River. And the reason I was so pleased, it's not just that it's a $20 million project uh, in my region benefiting benefiting the uh, township of Kurao, it was something like 150 jobs over the period of a year and a half and all the, all the uh, attending expenditure that went into the Kurao ta township and up and down the Waitaki Valley, it wasn't just that I was pleased about. It wasn't just the fact that there was in fact going to be a cycle lane separate from the traffic on these also two-laned bridges over the Waitaki River, which would mean that the cyclists on the Alps to Ocean Trail were going to be able to cross the Waitaki safely. No, it wasn't just that, and it wasn't just the fact that the stock trucks and the transport and the tractors were going to be able to get over the river safely and get commerce from the farm to market. It wasn't just that either. Probably more importantly than anything else, it was the fact that our school buses could cross over the Waitaki River safely, uh, right. transporting our That's children into our wonderful schools in the Waitaki Valley, which have been so well supported by this government through a huge in investment in education. Here, so what here. have they had up the valley? They've had an investment in rural broadband. And so now our kids in our small rural schools, in our small towns in the South Island, in my region of Otago, have the best technology available to them. They might be right. uh, remote uh, by bus and they might have to travel an hour to school and more each way every day, but they can learn anything. And not only is the broadband making a difference in their lives, but the different style of teaching these days means our kids are learning in a very modern environment, and that is thanks to Hekia Parata and the work she is putting into That's schools. Right. But there's more. There is far more good news uh, for my region of Otago. So there's the national cycleways, and I've already talked about the separate uh, cycle loan lane over the Waitaki um, bridge. And here's a small pop quiz for my colleagues. How many cycleways are there in the Waitaki electorate? Come on, guess. Um, How many? Two. Is it two? No, it's two. not two. Is it three? No, it's not three. It's four. There are four cycleways in the Waitaki electorate. Why does that matter? Because the first and arguably, arguably the best, the Otago Central Rail Trail, Back in 2011, the figures will have gone through the roof by now, is returning $12 million into the local economy. Go. Now, that is How significant, $12 million, and that was back in 2011. So just think back, another five years, 2014, that was one rail trail. Let's, let's almost double that, perhaps, because things are going so well. Add in another three developing cycle trails. You can imagine the cumulative impact that these cycle trails are having on regional development in Otago. Do you know unemployment is running at 3.9 per cent? It is Otago. one of the lowest rates of unemployment in New Zealand. And that is because there is so much government uh, intervention in the Otago region and in the Waitaki electorate that we are just going gangbusters. Yeah. Growth is at around 3.9 per cent, and I would have to put it down to the initiatives uh, that this government is putting in for a productive economy, and that is through the business growth agenda. There are something like 350 separate government initiatives to grow the economy and grow jobs in our regions. I've talked about several of them, but wait, there are many, many more. Let's talk about the Sustainable Farming Fund. Let's talk about the Sheep Industry Transformation Project, which has been put in place to trans transform the sheep meat industry. Sorely needed, 
very welcome. There's lots happening Mr. in the Speaker, region. I call the honourable member Barbara Stewart. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. As our inboxes on this side of the house get absolutely swamped with emails on aged care, it's really time.